Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Today, I am going to attempt to relearn what my buttons were. I don't remember. Is this how do I do the parking brake? Is that the parking brake? Yep. Okay. When we're in gear. All right. <laughs> it's been a while. Um. So we are. We already have a. Oh God! I gotta look. Uh. It's not going well already. Uh. We already have a job. Already picked out. Uh. Last time we were trying to find a 53 foot trailer to Carl's Corona to the Nor Food. Uh, to do the drop-off that Jeff was, you know, had a, had a difficult trouble with. Unfortunately, I cannot find that. So I found, I believe it's like seven tons of sawdust to, like, somewhere. <laughs> somewhere north, pretty much. We're still staying in the Scandinavia DLC. We haven't really explored much of it. So we're going to stay in it. And, uh... I have not gotten my shifter connected yet. I did order the cable. It should be here on Friday the, uh, which one's enter? Is that enter? Okay, that is enter. So we're, I'm sorry, we're hauling seven tons of canned tuna to up, up, Uppsala in Sweden from Vaskalash. So we're going from, yeah, point A to point B. <laughs> Again, don't, I don't pronounce these names for a reason. Uh, where's our tuna? All right, let's hook our tuna up. Which one's that? Is it? Okay. And into reverse. All right. Okay. Go ahead and just connect our trailer real quick. Got a couple things to talk about. Today. Which one is connect? I don't remember. That is. Okay. Let's turn that off. Let's get into drive. And that, I turn the parking brake on. Okay. And we're good. Whew, man, I am... Just having your buttons set up the same for so long and then them being different, it really, like having to relearn it is really throwing me off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, hit the brakes. <sighs> Why is your stuff glitching out now? What's, what's that about? At least you backed up. I don't know why you're glitching all of a sudden. That's really weird. I don't know, he was glitching out. Uh, that's not how I wanted this to start. How do I bring up my... What, which one's the... No, that's the map. Damage. 1% on the trailer. Well, that sucks. Oops, no. How do I get rid of this? There we go. Uh, so yeah, having your buttons the same for so long, and then having to relearn it, like, and then you don't play for a week or so, and then you're just like, oh, great, now i got to relearn everything again. So... I do apologize if I don't know how to do certain things. I see that truck. It is very strange driving an automatic. Kind of boring, actually, but... Yeah, so I did order that cable. It'll be here on the 19th of this month, so Friday. Um, and then I'll be able to connect my shifter, which is awesome. So once, that, once I get that, I'll be able to connect my shifter, and I will be driving a manual again and I will remember how to do things more than likely I'll remember how to do things so I cannot wait for that um, it's gonna help me with project cars too because I hate only having paddle shifters with project cars so but what are these what is yellow is that like just caution is that a yield do we get to what the f <laughs> okay dude really yeah apparently it's just yield or just go through it I don't know that guy's stopping, so I'm going. What the fuck was that guy's problem? Just cut me off. This is going to be an interesting episode, I can tell you right now. I don't know how long I'm going to go. They might not be long episodes. And uh, the reason why, if you're watching, if you watched, depending on how these videos go out, I might have done a Project Cars earlier today. Now I'm doing this. If you're wondering, like, where's the GTA at? Trust me, I would love to bring you guys GTA. Uh, but currently... My GTA is my well, my GTA Online, I should say, is just messed up. Um, I didn't get banned. I, I'm not using mods, nothing like that. Um, 
just whenever they released the ill-gotten gains dlc i started to have really bad performance in multiplayer i've already filled out a ticket with rockstar they're kind of they're, they're, they're already looking into it so i'm just waiting to hear a response from them and it's pretty much just been i can play gta 5 single player and i will get pin 60 fps everything runs great looks great it's fine um i then go into multiplayer no difference and I will get anywhere from 35 to 50 FPS, and it'll just bounce all over the place. Like, within a second, it'll jump from 35 to 50. So that just makes everything jitter. So everything's just like, uh, 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 uh. It's just lagging around. So all the cars are just kind of skipping around like a flipbook. Um, so the only thing that I can do is I can cap my FPS at 30 which pretty much makes it, well, 30 FPS, but then also I still get a little bit of jitter, so I'll jump from 30 to, like, 27, so I'll still get the occasional jitter. <sighs> you guys like 60 FPS videos. I like bringing you 60 FPS videos. I can do 30 FPS videos, and I'm pretty sure, you know, I'd get a couple people that would complain, but I'm pretty sure for the most part you guys would just enjoy it for what it is and not so much how it runs, but I don't want to do that. I want to bring you guys GTA really bad, but I also want to see what Rockstar has to say about fixing it. Because I... It just broke my game. And I don't get it. I've restarted my computer. I've verified integrity of game cache on Steam. I've uh, checked my graphics drivers. I've done everything I possibly can. And the reason why I think it's the DLC update was... The last recording of GTA that you saw... With me, Polecat, and Alex... Uh, we played for two hours... And that was the night before the DLC came out. The night before the DLC came out, not a single issue. The game just worked. Um, got fine performance, everything was great, no issues. Next day, DLC comes out, first time playing it, and I'm getting t t terrible performance. Uh, I go back into single player, and it's totally fine. So that leads me to believe that there was something with... The multiplayer update and you know they they said that they fixed a couple things with like you know some pcs running with like performance and stuff like that so hopefully they're able to help me in some sort of fashion you know i really don't want to do 30 fps but at the same time if i have to then i have to um but also at the same time i still get a little bit of jittering at 30 and it's it's still pretty annoying so it's just it's going to be more of a pain to kind of go through explaining what i just explained um, to, you know, everybody that watches all the GTA videos for however long, and then it'll go back to normal. So it's, it's kind of hard to explain a temporary problem. So I'm seeing what they say and I'll go from there, but that's why kind of GTAs have been like pushed off for a couple days. Cause I just been have really wanting to see what they say. So if they're like, well, I'm sorry, but there's nothing we can do. Then I'm just going to do 30 FPS and try to explain it. I might even make a special video about it and just say, hey, this is what's going on. So this is how it'll be until, I don't know, Rockstar releases the next update or something. I'm not really sure. So hopefully Rockstar will find a solution, though. Uh, they're pretty good at what they do. I mean, they're Rockstar, so I'm pretty sure they'll be, they'll be able to find a solution. So just time. It is what it is. So that explains why, you know, you haven't seen any GTA and uh, why it might not be around for a while. I, I don't know. I really can't tell you when it'll be back uh, shortly, though, because I do not... I know you guys love GTA, and I love bringing it, um, so I'm going to try to get it back as soon as possible. It just really sucks that it happened, because it didn't happen to anybody else. Polecat, Zach, Jeff, nobody. Alex, nobody. No problems with any part of their game. It's just mine. And uh, Zach looked it up on Reddit and, like one other person well then again that was the day of the release only like one other person had had that issue so we'll see we'll see what happens but um you know we'll go from there so yeah the, the cable's on the way uh so i've been playing a lot of this i've been playing a lot of project cars um just some other games that you guys seem to kind of enjoy on the channel and uh i should hopefully get back into gta soon but uh since we're already talking about games and stuff e3 has been going on and some big news already has been uh you know lots of things happening uh lots of things with microsoft 
in particular, you know, Microsoft, they're really stepping up their Xbox game. Apparently, there's a new guy in the Xbox department running the Xbox department, and he knows he knows something. He's doing something right because uh, backwards compatibility Xbox One. They're talking about not needing the Kinect anymore. Well, they they already sold it without the bundle, but they're not trying to rely on the Kinect. Um, they're doing a lot of things. Forza 6 looks amazing, of course, because there's the Forza. They always have looked amazing. Um, man, there's just been... Uh, the Tomb Raider looks really good. Um, so I'm going to have to be... <laughs> and for, they've, announced, they've announced so many games at E3, and they're, they all have been like November of this year. That's not that far away at all. So that's pretty crazy that we're going to get like at least four huge titles in November of this year. And then December is going to be some more crazy stuff. So I'm, I'm very excited for the end of the year. Uh, so I'm going to be getting an Xbox One before then. So I can start playing some of the exclusives, you know, that come out for it and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, other games that aren't just exclusives, like uh, Battlefront 3, they showed that off. That looks amazing. If they can keep that, what they showed, and make that the actual game, then DICE will sell a million of those. Because that game looks so good. It's just, it's, wow. It took me back to when I played Battlefront 2, um, you know, a long time ago. And I was just, I was in love. But I can't wait for Battlefront 3. Um, what else was there? Uh, uh, Need for Speed, their game. I think they're just, I think it's just Need for Speed. I don't know if they're actually calling it anything, but Need for Speed looks so good. Well, at least right now. What is up with their mirrors? What is up with that? Whoa, what the? What the I don't know what's going on. That's really strange. I don't know. That's never happened before. I don't know why all of a sudden all the mirrors are shooting around. But, yeah, so Need for Speed looks really good. It looks like they're going back to their roots of, like, Underground 2. Like, Need for Speed Underground 2. That was the best... Like, in my opinion, that was the last... Well, Hot Pursuit was really good. But in terms of, like, actual, like, racing and stuff, Need the Need for Speed Underground series was, like, the best. So the fact that they're, it seems like they're coming back to their roots is going to be awesome. Very excited for that. I'm more excited for that than I ever was for the crew. Uh, and it shows because I've never even purchased the crew because it just, I it was, it, I mean, it had a good idea and I liked the idea, but then when I actually saw gameplay and I actually played the betas of it, I went, mm -mm, no, I don't like this. So let's hope that Need for Speed doesn't get, it's not the next crew. You know, let's hope it actually is successful. There's just, there's a lot of, lot of games, lots of things happening with E3 this year. Uh, nothing from Rockstar uh, this year, which I, I guess you can expect, but I think everyone was kind of secretly hoping that Rockstar was going to announce Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, you know, the next, the next game in the Red Dead series, um, because we've all... I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I love Red Dead Redemption. It was it was a great game. And I would love to see another one. Um, so we we're all kind of secretly hoping for that. Uh, there's a new Hitman, which looks pretty good. There's just, there's so many games that just like, yeah. Fallout, Fallout. Oh, Fallout 4 looks so good. So excited for Fallout 4. I was joking with Zach. I was like, well, I better start telling people now that for the month of November, I just won't upload because I'm going to be too busy playing all these amazing games that are going to come out. So I got to work something out where I can get some content uploaded and like maybe leave some gaps so that way I can uh, put out some new content of the new games coming out but at the same time take some time off and relax and just play games because uh, that would be just all the games coming out. I know we're going to play the hell out of Battlefront 3. That's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so what's happening here? Are you guys going to speed up or what? So yeah, I'm super excited. Very excited for the end of this year, pretty much. Um, I am also still wondering about American Truck Sim. I think everybody at this point is wondering about American Truck Sim. I think Alex showed, like, told me a stat of how uh, American Truck Sim was like on 
what was it like 47th most anticipated game or something like that and it dropped to like 180th or something because of just how poorly they're doing their marketing which I am yeah i mean we've talked about that before it's just it's absurd what they're what they're doing um but the rumor flying around is at some point by the end of this year we'll see american truck sim i honestly don't know i'm honestly not holding my breath anymore if it comes out great i'll play it and i'll love it if it doesn't i'm not surprised that's pretty much what has gotten to the point with with american truck sim um, and it's all the way they handled it, to be honest. I mean, they, they have no one to blame but themselves. They, they didn't cover it. They didn't talk about it. They would give you sc- three screenshots every six months. And it's like, dude, no. Like, And then the 30-minute trailer was cool. And then that was it for months. And you're just like, it's not how you handle a game, um, in my opinion. So hopefully American Truck Sim at one point... Um, Man, there's just there's so many games that I can't I just can't even think of that there that was shown and yeah I'm definitely gonna have to pick up an Xbox One I know that for sure but uh, yeah I'm I'm pretty excited it, it's gonna be a good year for games for sure so yeah I mean it's uh it's just it's 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 gonna be it's just gonna be awesome wow. I thought this was a lot shorter run than it was, but it looks like it's going to be a long one. I don't know what's going up, going on with those mirrors. <sighs> I have no idea. You know, it's just probably the heat destroying my computer. <laughs> it's just been so hot recently. Hot right now. It is hot right now. Oh, and by the way, this is something that I have to talk about because I apparently didn't cover it enough in the last episode or the last time I played Euro Truck. Um, I mentioned that within the first two minutes of the episode that I was running my air conditioning because it was really hot. So you you will hear a buzzing when I talk. And I got a ton of comments and people tweeting me and all that. Yo, you got to get a new mic. Your mic was broken. There's something wrong with your microphone. I told you guys from the beginning, hey, I'm running my air conditioner. It's going to make a buzzing noise. So, for those of you that said you didn't hear it or it didn't bother you or whatever, I appreciate it. And uh, But I'm not going to run it because it's just... I'd rather just deal with the heat for a little while instead of dealing with all the comments or all the tweets about how my my microphone's broken when it's not. Um, and people are like, it only happens when you talk. Yeah, that's because my studio microphone has a noise gate. So, oh, I might have needed to get gas. My studio microphone has a noise gate, so when I don't talk, it completely closes pretty much the input to the microphone, so it picks up no noise. Well, at least it picks up noise that are near it, but not noise that's across the room. That's the whole point of a noise gate. So that's why when you can only hear the buzzing when I talked is because it would open the noise gate, then the microphone would pick up anything that it heard, which the air conditioner is a huge air conditioner in the room, not four feet from me so it's clearly going to pick that up so that's why my microphone was buzzing not broken there we go (laughs) end of that (laughs) something that i just had to go over okay so let's check the map real quick let's find out if missing that gas station was a mistake i don't think so i think we got one coming up I don't know. We're not too worried about it. We got what, like a quarter of a tank? Where's my fuel gauge? I just saw it. Yeah. Yeah, we got, we're, we're fine. We got more than a quarter of a tank. So we're good. Um, so we'll just keep going and we'll stop at the next one though. Cause we do need, I don't like to go, this truck gets amazing gas mileage as it is, but we're below a quarter of a tank. So might as well just fill up instead of, it's going to cost us way more if we run out of gas somewhere. So we'll just fill up at the next chance we get. Look at these crazy intersections here. I just... These are just nuts. Like, I thought the normal ones were crazy, like in Germany. No, the Scandinavia DLC intersections are... Or the interchanges are just... Make no sense to me. They're so crazy. They're cool, but they're crazy. Can I get over? No, you're going to speed back up. Okay, well... Okay, so yeah, it's uh, 
It's hot. <laughs> um, what else was I, I was going to talk about? Um, oh, I want to get a new car in real life, obviously. Um, I want to buy a new, and I don't mean like I just want something new. Like I want to buy a new car. I want to go to a dealer and buy a new car. Uh, there's only a couple problems with that. One, uh, probably the biggest thing is money. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can afford something like that. Um, and two is like, you know, credit and, and all that sort of stuff. And like how much the interest rate's going to be. And, you know, cause I'm, I'm a young guy. I'm, I'm 22. Um, so it's, you, you know, you, you go in there and you want to buy a new car and you being young, what the fuck, which way am I going? Oh God, am I getting over? Yep. And I'm killing people. Didn't even see him. Kill the van. Sorry. They're dead. I didn't get any damage or any hit vehicle violation. See, look, this interchange makes no sense. I didn't know where I was going. But anyway, uh, jeez. But yeah, so I want to buy a new vehicle. Like, you know, brand new, under, like, you know, a couple hundred miles, brand new, off the lot, stickers on the window, all that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, credit and, and you know, how much they want to try to rate me is is a whole nother ball game. So I don't think it's going to happen, but I can live in the fantasy that it will, but it won't. So I'm just going to go and look at some places and just kind of, I don't know, talk with them and just see if it's even a possibility that maybe I can overpay a ton for a car that I don't need. Um, I don't know. Again, it's just one of those things where you're like, man, I could really, I really want one of those. Cause you know, my friend, he, you know, he bought a, a new car and it's just, it's kind of nice for him to not worry about fixing something. If it goes wrong, it's under warranty. You take it in, it's fixed. You get it back and it's fine. And you drive it. And there's the new cars are nice. Like, you know, I, I mean, my crown Vic is a 2008. That's not old. It's not an old car, but it's not a luxurious car. It's not you know, something that is meant for, like, comfort. It doesn't have... It's, it's literally, like, the base model car that you could get in 2008. So it's, you know, there's no keyless entry. There's no remote start. There's no push-button start. There's no GPS. There's no uh, heated seats. There's no... There's nothing like that. There's not even a CD player. There's not even a tape deck player. It's literally just radio. The m best features you get is the fact that it has cruise control and... Uh, air conditioning like they're really you're not you're not getting anything crazy with a crown Vic. um it's a crown Vic. it's a workhorse it's not meant to be luxurious it's, it's meant to get the job done so uh, and the miata is a great car and i love you know ripping it around and whoops that's not how you do it and here we go um i love ripping it around and having a lot of fun with it and you know it's kind of like my beater i can just kind of take around and just you know kind of kind of rip on and not have too much of a worry about it but at the same time it's a 20 year old car and you feel it when you drive it you know you're like man this car's 20 years old because it's a great car and i love driving it it's a lot of fun and i've put a lot of time and like money into it you know making it what i think is nice and it's not done by any means but it's you know it's a project car which is why i wanted it and i still really like it and i don't, there's part of me that doesn't want to get rid of it, but I just think that, you know, it's, you, after you drive it for a while and all the little squeaks and bangs and everything, you're kind of just like, Ugh, you know, like it's just, it's, it's, there's something about just being able to hop in a new car. You just, you, it starts up and you just go and it just works, you know? And then if something goes wrong, you take it to the dealer and they fix it. And you don't have to worry about fixing some shit. And I'm cutting people off in this <laughs> freaking roundabout. So, you know, but the thing is, I, I'll never be able to, well, not never, but not anytime soon will I be able to afford a new vehicle. So I'm just going to go one day when I have the time and I'm just, oops, and I'm just going to go and I'm going to window shop pretty much. I'm just going to go into a dealer and just kind of window shop and just talk to the guys and, you know, go for some test drives and just kind of narrow down what I actually want to look at in about five years, what I might actually be able to afford. <laughs> so I don't know, just something that 
Just, just a goal to work for. I mean, it's, it's nice. Everybody has to have a goal. You know? Oops. That, I'm trying to hit this to bring that up so I can see that a little better. But yeah, so everybody has to have a goal. Everybody has to... You gotta have something that you want so you can work for it. And you know what? I don't believe that you gotta think about something that you need. Because obviously, what, the things that you're gonna need, you're gonna get. You gotta think about something that you want. Because something that you want is not something that you need. And I feel like if you can work hard enough and get to that point where you can buy something that you really want compared to something that you need, it, that's when it's a little bit of a like a satisfaction. Like, okay, I'm working hard and I'm getting a, getting a reward for it. Um, so I think everybody should have things that they want to work for. Uh, or work to get or you know something like that so for me it would be a new car something off a lot off a dealer that's that's kind of my want uh right now well that and a house <laughs> i would love a house but that is about 20 years from happening <laughs> so that's not anytime soon nope okay go ahead and park this truck up and uh we'll we'll take another we'll do a short run i don't want to do anything too long uh because we've already gotten pretty much an episode and we're into the second episode now and i don't want to get like a billion episodes i just want like two would be fine with me um so we're just gonna do another short run and i'm totally butchering what am i doing with my life right now come on now you got it come on I don't know, why am I having so much trouble with this? I literally cannot wrap my brain around what I'm doing. Here we go. Here we go, now I'm a little more lined up. Now I gotta face the wheels the right direction. There we go. I'm happy with that right there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, parking brake and which drop off? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we got good work just because we had some <laughs> incidents along the way. Uh, but we got 13,000 euro, 550 XP. We went 467 kilometers, took us six hours, and consumed 139 liters of fuel. So we're just going to look really quick at maybe if we have a short run.